from the best channel on YouTube since Filthy Frank is gone, Channel Five of Andrew Callaghan, and he has a Hollywood anti-Rex rally. It's starting quite quite nice. We have a Twitch admin already here, and we're gonna take a look here at what Andrew has for us today. Um, I'm just thinking, should I get food before I? I don't really have any food. I'm not allowed to eat lasagna for tonight. I feel like a dog, man, right? There's a beautiful lasagna in, in the living room, uh, in the kitchen. And Lisa's like, it's for tonight. If you eat that, I'm going to kill you. Anyway, let's take a look at Hollywood Anti-Vax Rally. Let, let's put Tommy where he belongs. I don't want to stay on the right side. That sounds weird. Let me update the sub count. Hey, someone should really give 300 subs. 16 hour streams are always fun. I'm, I'm saying, though, as a little bonus, if I reach 4.5k subs before uh, Halloween, the 16-hour stream will be Halloween, 100%. I'm going to do a big-ass Halloween stream, man. Like, where I have a big plan, dude. Uh, thank you for 1.5k bit steady, Alex. Here's a little something. Order a burger. Cheers. Nah, I already ate today, man. Thank you, though. I'm tomorrow. Here's a little something. Order a burger. Cheers. Thank you very, very much. I, I will plan a massive Hollywood, Holly, uh, Halloween stream with uh, Gio Gesser Dark Tourist horror games uh we could take a walk through the park at night and stuff um i would like make a little hollywood uh, ho why do i say hollywood because it says right here hollywood okay or maybe if you walk through hollywood you you think it's halloween uh thank you for the 1.5k bits i gotta calm down a bit i'm talking too much there you go tell me getting mucked in the park okay gentlemen let's take a fucking look Excuse me, are you vaccinated? You know what I have to say to that? Fuck you! I <laughs> this is already... This is the greatest YouTube channel in the world, I swear to God, man. I'm absolutely disgusted Pussy. with what's going on. Hey, Sorry. Dami, have you been enjoying New Vegas so far? Haven't been able to catch any of those streams with exams, sad face. Jonas, thank you for the $10. I, I don't know yet. I what, I... what I always predicted is happening. Enderol was so good that in the shadow of Enderol, Fallout New Vegas looks like a piece of shit. No offense. New Vegas is great. But in the shadow of Enderol, which I just finished, it's just... I'm, I'm, I'm ke I keep playing Fallout, but I don't know. We will see. We're gonna see. Uh, thank you, Jonas, very much. I'm, I just always want to be honest, man. I will never be a streamer that plays a game and just fakes it. Oh, I'm playing Fallout, I fucking hate it, and deep inside I'm depressed, but at least I'm getting views. Fuck that, man. I'm not a magic streamer, uh, purely. <laughs> Good one. Anyway. Here in Los Angeles, we need to take these guys out. They are all indoctrinated with this Chinese, communist, fascist narrative. And, and you know what? We're not gonna have it! Absolutely not! No. Fuck that! We need to kill their cash. He's so clever what he's doing. He goes to these rallies of crazy people and he acts like he's one of the crazy people. So they trust him and show their true colors to him. It's, it's genius, man. Blow. And that's gonna kill them. Actually, I would like to see them publicly hanging in the town square. <laughs> Jesus fuck, man. <laughs> Come on, man. That's where democracy gives too much freedom to people like this, man. When they actually call for fucking death and shit, man, that, that really shows... A weakness of a free society, but that's what democracy and freedom has to handle, right? You have to handle people like this. That is the, the big test of a democracy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Breaking news. Breaking news. You're watching what? Channel 5 with Andrew Callahan. Good morning, America. You're watching Channel 5 News. We're here in Hollywood, California, on the corner of Hollywood Vine, where there is a Jesus rally Christ. to save America. By saving me. Hollywood is like one of these cities that you really never have to see, I feel like. Like many years ago, it was like, oh, you can see the stars and everything. But dude, what? There's nothing to do in Hollywood if, as a tourist, I feel like. You should rather go like hiking in the Everglades or, or Rocky Mountains or something, you know, but... Hollywood isn't a city? Well, LA, you know, man, that all that fucking shit, man. Shut up. What is it? What's the name of the rally? Hey, what's what's the name of this rally again? Unity March. What's the catchphrase for this march? Let the lions loose. Who are the lions? We're the lions. Who are the sheep? Oh, all the fucking idiots that, like, put shit in their arm. What's your Instagram handle? It's Liberty is Dope one Here we are, Channel 5. It's him! Oh! I felt bad for this guy. He's a weird man, but last time they, they were attacking him and they were punching him. That was so sad. The dude is obviously weird, but they fucking punched him. That's not cool. Live worldwide, Hollywood and Vine, Freedom March. 
2021, from today and all days forward, let's take our country back. Let's get it back. Get back for the Lord. Get our country <laughs> back and do it. Bring it back. One of the toughest vaccine mandates in the nation coming to Los Angeles. The city council approving a measure requiring proof of full vaccination to enter many indoor businesses. Eligible students in the nation's second largest school district will now be required to get vaccinated against the coronavirus. It comes amid soaring pandemic cases across the country. And they're putting on CRT. It's time to just move, move on and move away. I don't want my kid masked up. I don't want them learning about critical race theory. I don't want them learning about Antifa and they still pass these, these mandates on these kids. They still put it in schools. We have to take our kids Listen, I, 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 the way I educate myself is that once a week I read a magazine in Germany called Focus. Germans will know. That's where I get all my knowledge from. And there was a big article about critical race theory, but I forgot everything. There's a big thing in America now about critical race theory, but I forgot what that is. I forgot what that is. I actually forgot. It was a huge, it was a huge article. There's a school in New York, and it's a rich people school. The people there are rich, and there's a teacher, and he got the uh, order from New York to teach something about racist. That like, or like, it, it was something like, I don't want to talk shit. Uh, like, white people are bad, and they did a lot of bad shit, and you should all be ashamed. And then this teacher got suspended, and he went to the public. And now that is something about so maybe critical race theory is like you have to put shame on white people or something. I don't. I, I forgot the article, man. It's just Americans doing dumb shit again, man. You know. Critical uh, CRT is like history, but heavily politicized. It has no reason to be taught instead of plain history, basically. But I, I I'm not educated on the shit. I, I probably want to shut up. It's a race-based hierarchy system based upon the alleged oppression each race has faced. The article also says that, um, again, I, I really don't want to have any opinion about this. I really don't know shit about this. I just want to talk about the article. It said, um, what uh, conservatives are often doing, like middle to right wingers, they often use catchphrases. In Germany, they do it. In America, always these catchphrases. Uh, Lock them up. And, you know, all these catchphrases always. There's always these little short sentences that are always the big catchphrases of, of, of the right. Like, fake news. Uh, uh, lock them up, uh, like slogans, yeah. And the article kind of said that critical race theory is another slogan used by the right, for example, Tucker Carlson, to, to, to... And, and here's the only thing, uh, in, here's, the, here's the interesting thing with the article. The article kind of said that this bullshit is, just divides us. It, there is no debate anymore. Like, the left or the right has some topic. Like, the left has that too. The left also has these slogans like, I don't know. What, what the slogan does the left have? Uh, uh, Black Lives Matter, uh, uh, for example. All these slogans. Thank you, Otto from Lotto. And the article was suggesting that all these slogans and all this behavior is actually uh, dividing the country because people are getting more and more radicalized with their slogans and their ideals and no one finds the middle ground anymore. There's no more handshaking. There's no more um, middle ground. Thank you, Anand Snape. I think that was the article said that all this bullshit is just dividing like this shit, right? It's just dividing us. I know. Out of this school. There are certain people that maybe it's better for them. Maybe. My thing is, it's 99% survival rate. Like, what is it for from a health standpoint? It's not. It's a business. If we listen to pharma, our cough syrup will still have heroin in it. It's a dumpster fuck. We are going by the Nazi playbook. Wake up, guys. The vaccine passport is like... You see that in Germany, shit ton, uh, they're putting the juice star. Uh, in Germany, we have the LUT, the anti-corona vaccine uh, release in Germany. They put uh, this on their jacket. And that's, that's not free speech, man. You're just a fucking idiot. You are comparing. Once again, I'm a centrist. I only want to follow reason and logic. You are comparing the Holocaust with you being vaccinated, man. Th that is... You, I don't know if I sound a bit lefty here and you guys don't like it, but you're literally spitting on six million dead Jews doing this, man. It's ridiculous. It is fucking ridiculous. It is completely fucking ridiculous, man. And it shows that you're just totally gone in your head. You're completely delusional. Like wearing a yellow star on your arm. If you're too brainwashed and too stupid to see- I don't think it's folks for Hetzung. The police is not taking them off the German streets, right? Like when you have that in Germany, I don't think the police does anything. It's like part of free speech or something. I don't know. I don't want to talk shit. That a mask and a vaccine are not going to protect you from fascism. You know what? I've got some swampland in Florida for you. What does that mean? 
That means sw um, buying swampland in Florida. That's like the stupidest thing you could possibly do. What kind of a question is that, dude? Come on. Because it, it sinks under the mud or whatever? Yeah, it's like, it's not an investment. Would you rather live in Wuhan, China or Portland, Oregon? They are not comparing. Obviously, they're comparing the loss of civil rights to what happened in the 30s, not the Holocaust that happened after. You're retarded, first of madness. You are, come, if you really mean that, you are just retarded as fuck, man. You are a lost soul and you should really stop hanging in whatever bubble you're in, man. You gotta, I'm not gonna ban him, it's still his free speech, man. But you gotta really fucking get out of your bubble, man, and use your fucking head for once. Again. Neither. That's insane, man. You have to pick an, a studio apartment in either city. I, I wouldn't. It's, I would the, not. it's would you rather, it's yeah, you gotta pick I, one. I don't care, I'm not answering that question because I would rather not do either one of them. Fuck Joe, bye! Local man. celebrity here. Yeah, man, hey, I'm not gonna lie, man. I, would, I definitely fuck with Donald Trump heavies. He's not discriminating against the black people with this vaccine, is and, he? And if it wasn't for him, EDD, PPP, it wouldn't, it wouldn't exist. So, actually, Donald Trump actually made a big impact. Boom. What's up? Hi. What's on your mind? Standing up for sovereignty, soul sovereignty, medical freedom, freedom, this beautiful country we stand for. There's so much on my mind. Ah! Sorry. Father, we thank you for your... Is, are the Israelis, like, hidden gatherings of... Taking drugs, man? Is everybody just on drugs or some shit? Or maybe he just always picks out the weird people, right? They don't we show the normal people. We thank you that people. you're not done with our nation. Thank you, God. Father, we thank you. We pray for our enemies today. Yes. Andrew is so genius, man. He makes them think he's part of them. It's so genius. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. amen. Yeah, my name is Grizzly. I am 17 years old. And I live in Orange. You fucking 17? Have you ever seen a 17-year-old looking like this? What? What? No one has a beard like this when he's 17. What? I've seen 17-year-olds, man. They don't look like this. What the fuck? County, and I'm here to protest for freedom. <laughs> Stand up for what's right. You're a fucking shit! The fuck? Oh, it's him! Dude, isn't that crazy how it's always the same people? Wait again. That's that guy. It's always the same people, dude. Protest for freedom. Stand up for what's right. You're a fucking shit! the fuck out of here calling me motherfucker hey this is our town motherfucker try to take it try and take it what had brought you to the white lives matter rally in hb i heard the clan was going to be there i don't like the fucking clan I, as, as someone who's semitic or half semitic you know i i don't like that shit you know and i went there and all i saw was people ganging up on, on people with american flags and I, and I didn't stand for that who'd you come here with uh, you know what the you know what's the the worst thing about this video on right here? People with the no time to die. What a trash movie that was. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was fucking first madness probably liked that movie, man. That was not a good movie, dude. American flags, not and I didn't stand for that. Who'd you come here with? Uh, I came here with Kelly right here. But, uh, Kobe Bryant was assassinated by the Quins. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Fuck yeah, you. Where are you stupid, fuck your life. I hope you fucking die, homie, straight up. Kelly J. Patriot, hola amigos and amigas. Uh, we we're up here in uh, Hollywood and, you know, it's a big day. Can you describe what this flag is? And exactly. What this is is a four banger. Four banger is four flags on one pole. So, going, if you go up to the top, I got the God, Jesus Guns, and Trump Christ, flag. And that flew in the capital of D.C. on January 6th. And I had it with the Stop the Steal flag, the, the second up top. You know what? I believe totally in your freedoms. I do. You got to do what you have to do. But... I recommend take the vaccines. I did it. It's oh, he just did a rally last month. I didn't even. In Germany, we don't hear about him anymore. They don't tell him Trump had a rally. Good, take the vaccines, but but he's putting himself in position to run again in three years, right? I guess you got no. That's okay. That's all right. You got your freedoms, but I happen to take the vaccine. Do you still support Trump, even though Trump was heavy on the vaccine? Uh, I don't think he was too heavy on the vaccine. He was just trying to uh, tell people what may be available and to make their own decision. He, I don't think he was forcing them. He wasn't offering them money. He wasn't offering to pay their tuition. He wasn't offering millions of dollars. He wasn't offering them free donuts. He wasn't offering them beer, milkshakes, you know, a free hamburger, free something. You know, just it's crazy. And it's proven that it has creepy crawlers in it. It has pieces of metal. What are creepy crawlers? It's things with tentacles. And they like we try to move together. It's like they're a family of uh, of uh, Satanic little particles. What do you think the, is on the creepy crawler agenda? Uh, I think it's to depopulate. It's things that are bad for people. Kids growing tail. 
he's literally predicting the plot of the new James Bond movie. If you think, if you've seen James Bond, he's literally predicting the whole plot of the game, movie right now. Those kids growing up with animal hair. It's for the new world order. I think they want to get us all on the world, um, you know, in the um, <laughs> no, I was still about money that. system. So I know it's about the new world order. It's to get, it's to depopulate. Sorry. Media beef, media fiasco, media fiasco. They're yelling. Oh shit, we're going viral. We're going viral. All right, we're walking away. We're going viral. Oh shit, we're going viral. We're going viral. We're going viral. Oh, so bad. Going viral? Viral? We're going viral? Are you going viral? Are we going viral? Hopefully. Hopefully, you got a bunch of fights today. <laughs> Don't air this at all, please. We're getting big time trouble. All right, guys, we are in Hollywood. Love the size. There we go. What do you guys do out here? What are you? What's going on? Walking around, talking here. to people, seeing what's up after a hectic few weeks on the road. Okay. You like the Sixers? Uh, January Sixers. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I like that. I don't know. Is that the whole setup? Was that a gimbal? Look how stable your man is right now. Yeah, this is pretty stable if you want. It's a little January 6th, January 6th. Were you guys there? That was a fun time, right? I was not there. Were you there? I was there. Yeah. It was a great time. I don't know it was the what that means to people. Does that mean I'm a bad guy? Am I a bad guy for going? No. When I was in London, I, I was eating at a table and there was an older couple from Washington, D.C., Americans. And I talked to them for forever, man, and they were very ashamed of that day. They were so ashamed, man. They didn't even want to talk about it. They were really ashamed of that shit. People say, think I am? I don't think you're a bad guy. How can you be a bad guy with a nice suit like that? Right, that's what I'm saying. How do you feel right now? We're on the walk of fame. Do you think that you're ever going to have a star of your own? Um, I never thought about that. I think Hollywood is going down the drain right now. Uh -huh. um, I think there'll be a new Hollywood coming soon, somewhere else. I don't know. I don't want to be a part yeah, of this industry internet. anymore. The L. Ron Hubbard Life Exhibition. <laughs> what the fuck is America? The L. Ron Hubbard Life Exhibition. That's the guy who made Scientology, boys. When you say Hollywood's going down the drain, <laughs> uh, what type of stuff do you mean? Oh, man. Well, if you think about it, everything water. that you watch on TV is pretty much propaganda, rituals of satanic crap. So there you go. I'm not going to be part of Hollywood. What's your favorite TV show? Uh, probably American Horror Story. <laughs> That's like the most satanic show on television. It is, but you watch it to understand what they're doing. Where it comes down so to the ritual. Everything always satanic. Um, I don't want to say what group, but they they do it. And it's been passed down from thousands, you know, hundreds of years of generations and they do it. They used to do it back then. Why wouldn't they be doing it now? So can you describe exactly what the ritual is? I believe it's um, they take a baby, they torture it, they put it in a, a, a little this bowl, right? And they they uh, they drain the blood, and then someone starts drinking it, and they get the crazy high off it, probably. You know, they're drinking blood from children. What's this little Nas guy? He's blowing the devil, banging the devil. I mean, like, the problem is, is that we need to prove it. That's the problem. I can't, I'm not there yet. It's just people are gonna uprise, and I think a war could be coming. Right now, it's an information, spiritual war, but I think it's gonna be a physical war someday. Yeah. And who do you think the two sides are gonna be? Patriots versus? The lip tarts or the unvaccinated versus the vaccinated. Listen, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Even Hillary Clinton said on national TV, somebody's gonna hit and we're gonna break that big glass note in the sky. I said, huh? I know we have still not shattered that highest and hardest glass ceiling, but someday. Alhamdulillah, man. People are lost. Holy shit, man. My opinion is, my opinion is that the, the government has to help there. Dem democracy comes with massive freedom, but I feel like there should be a state institution that sh gives more help, state-funded help, with psychologists, talking groups. Uh, you, you gotta talk to these people, man. That is so fucking insane, man. Hey, someone will, and hopefully sooner than we might think. Because I always think that all the stuff we see right now in the world, with all the crazy people in the West, comes from them feeling left alone. If you look at these people, most of these people, uh, they look like people that are very lost in this world. This very quick capitalist world hasn't been nice to them. They don't have big businesses, make good money, and have good families. These people, uh, some of them, I think they're very, very lost. A year and a half uh, thank you, Shekel, man. And when you feel lost, you want to feel part of a group, especially in internet age. 50 years ago, you felt lost, like it, you were kind of fucking weirdo, but you felt you're alone, and now you can connect on Facebook and shit. And I always feel like you have to show them the light again. It's always okay to criticize the government and criticize COVID-19 measurements, obviously, obviously. But walking around thinking that 
the eating babies and shit, man. You you'll lost soul, and the government shall come and help you, man. But the society we live in is so fucking leave everyone behind, man. Lately in Germany, I feel something. Germany, I wonder how you feel, Germans. I think Germany is getting rougher and rougher. With COVID nineteen, Germany has done a big step to being more rougher. People are getting more and more aggressive and rougher, man. And it's just that we live in this world, man, where everything is just me, 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 money, 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 me, 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 fame, 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 likes, 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 man. And so many people get lost behind that shit, dude. Hmm. Hey, right now. This is just an old national TV. We're in the fucking dome. Yes. Who determines what is crazy? What happens if Trump's supporter get to determine what is crazy? Your tourism is cringe. Let, let people be stupid. I don't know if I don't know if this concept of let people just be stupid in democracy works anymore. More and more we see now in the world that letting people be stupid leads to death and destruction. In Germany, for the first time ever, we have political murders. So right wingers here are literally murdering politicians now. Uh, it's getting creepier and creepier. They're they're running into the capital of Washington D.C. So just letting them be stupid and leave them alone leads to very negative side effects to death destabilization and other stuff so I, I don't know man if that shit is so good man this fucking shit is flat because they trying to break the ice wall that's on the out layer that's keeping us inside you think the earth is flat do i think i know you should go read genesis anyway Santa, why aren't you down here why aren't you covering us you're not gonna cover us because you support the tyranny What's up? And people who've never seen real violence love for war. Dude, I always felt that in my life. All these people that always, like, again, I'm a German. In Germany, we have white ringers that are planning Day X, where the revolution starts. They're getting guns, and they want to topple the government and bring back a white-wing government. And they always ask for war. Like this guy, the war's coming, the war's coming. Dude, if you will teleport these people into a real war for one week, man, they, they will pee their pants and cry for their mommy, man. The problem the problem might be... I, I mean, it always comes down to this, right? The times are too easy lately. And easy times create easy minds, man. People are just having too easy lives, have too much free time. That's what I that's why I'm a boomer. That's what I I always say this to Lisa and she says I'm an old man. Dude, people have too much free time. They have too much fucking free time for all this shit, dude. What's up? Hey man, what's going on? What's on your mind? Not much. For sure. How do you feel about CNN? I'm not a big fan. What media do you trust? I trust independent thinkers. I trust critical thinkers. I trust Blaze Media, The Daily Wire. What about Channel 5? What about Channel 5? Channel 5 what? These nuts. The ten, huh? are you, gotta, you gotta be kidding me. All the fucking legends of the internet are there. <laughs> Got him. Are you Welvin the Great? Hell yeah. How you been doing, Welvin? Oh, oh, I've been good. I've been solid. How do you feel? I wonder if he made money though with his meme, and his meme was so massive. Uh, did he have a TikTok account or something? Or no, back then? I wonder if he made money with these nuts. Got him. But COVID. Oh, I don't got that. Did you take the uh, vaccine? Mm hmm. Took the vaccine, so yeah. I like it though. It was on Vine, yeah, it was on Vine. So he probably got it's money cool. for it, right? Didn't he? So fuck you, LA City Council. Go fuck yourselves. That's how all of us feel. Ooh. You watching Channel 5? You watching Channel 5? All the best dudes. These nuts, hot. The weird thing is that this guy was like the only normal dude in the whole video. Got him. Quit playing with me, dog. And the 1%? And the B system. The B system. The B system. The B system. That's like the one. And something that I always think is very, very sad about this stuff that there actually is issues that uh, society should look at, like corrupt politicians and stuff. That shit exists. The problem is that the crazy people are so loud nowadays that if you, like, the, sometimes they have little points. Like, you know, corrupt politicians, maybe someone should look into that. But if you talk about that, you're already one of the crazy, it's like, I want to say that these crazy movements nowadays are even helping the real evil to be more washed away. You know what I mean? Because so you're so quickly a conspiracy theorist. You know what I mean? Everything becomes so unserious. <clears throat> are they worship Lucifer? All of them? 
I mean, if they sell their soul for fame, they're bowing down to Lucifer. That's the beast system. What about if they like have an independent following that gets goes viral on YouTube, and they have almost as much fame as like a B-list actor? That doesn't count. That's independent. Uh, Americans How do you get too, into the beast system? Like you the sell your soul. You sign a contract. But with who typically? It's the big industries, you know. So they come to you with a contract, but you're signing it with Lucifer. So when you sign the, the like the paperwork. Yeah. Even if it's in a PDF format on DocuSign. Hey, I don't know the exact de technical details, but I know if you sign the contract, you're signing away your soul. Yeah. Who are some celebrities you think are top offenders? Tom Hanks. And I'm, 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 I'm not going to name any more names. I, I'm just pretty much against Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. <laughs> just, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just against Tom Hanks. I don't know why, but I just feel he's weird. Thanks. Yeah. His son, I mean, have you seen his son's tattoos? They're pretty Luciferian. What's his son's name? I don't know. I just saw he's... Did that woman lead to him making a documentary about his son? Like, covered in, like, oh, Illuminati tattoos. Yeah, Look him up. Them. He's got, like, the pyramid and... It's... Dark. That's Tom Hanks' song, Chad. I'm not even kidding. Big up to you, Dem. Say it with passion, bro. Big up to you, Dem. Big up to you, Dem. Thank you. I'm, I'm noticing you have a Bernie Sanders t-shirt on. Yes. You like Bernie Sanders? Um, I like some of his policies. Uh, I support Medicare for all, free college, universal child care, universal sweating, paid family boy. leave, five weeks paid vacation, a uh, smaller military budget. But you don't like the vaccine? No. How come? I, we, the little people, are supposed to sacrifice ourselves, be maimed and die in the name of pharmaceutical That's profits. Summer, Don't trust the fucking pharma-funded media. People need to start, like, talking to their community members yeah. and people that they know, not LeBron James or any other uh, a media member or a celeb celebrity. I, I'm who running for Congress. Yeah. I'm a congressional candidate. And <laughs> what... what <laughs> best one, best one in the video. One of the things that pisses me off about our government, we have all these officials, they have no idea. Well, uh, the Tiger King was also running for, for governor. Idea what it's like to be out got, here. Like, uh, no idea, no idea. Ted Lou, the guy I'm running against, he would never come out here and just have a conversation. Uh, I feel bad when I see that. How come? Because it's so ridiculous, you know. Uh, those people will finish in an hospital, you know. A bunch of uneducated Damn. people. Europeans telling Americans that they're stupid? And Trumpist. We, we? Well, just said, just look at the numbers. If you're not vaccinated, you will end up in an hospital, you know, and you eventually die. You know, it's just ridiculous, you know. Is there a lot of people like this in France? Uh, there are some, you know, yeah. but I think not as bad as here. Yeah. Why do you think it's worse here? I would say the, the government has much more power in France to enforce rules and mandates compared to here, where it's very decentralized. And you have all those states, like, uh, basically would not enforce the rules to make us safer, you know? So do you think there should be tighter restrictions? Yep. Sure. More European, he's yep. a French guy. More mandates? Yep. You can say do that you see that as people. conflicting with constitutional rights? No. Well, all I know is all I know is that uh, I believe in science and reason, and science says nine out of ten people on intensive care right now are unvaccinated. So uh, you know, you can think what you want about that. Interesting video, great video. Oh, God damn, great video.